the first industrial revolution happened. That made it possible for us to source things from around the world and get whatever we wanted and have it arrive on our desktop. And it changed the way we think now. When we want something, we shop for it and we get it. And it turns out that just doesn't necessarily satisfy us. It turns out that a lot of what's satisfying is being able to do it yourself and know things and have things that you understand and that you created that are just what you need and nothing more. There's people who are growing their own food, there's people who are creating their own electric cars, all sorts of different ways of doing things yourself that put the person who needs something in control of what they get. And a MakerBot is part of that, because when you want something, you can just MakerBot it. This is a MakerBot Industries Cupcake CNC, which is a 3D printer. You know, it's still this really, really fresh thing, because it's a machine that can make you almost anything. You just download a digital design or you create one yourself and the thing is made right there for you. We're just in this wonderful time where up until now you've been able to download books, you've been able to download movies, you can download music. Well, now you can download things. And once you download the digital design, you can just crank up your MakerBot, fire it up and print one out. Unless time it'll take you to go to the store. The plastic starts down here and comes up through this tube and you can see it right here and it gets pulled in and then it goes, gets heated up, and then one layer at a time, it's building it up. When you're done, you have a 3D object. These are things made on a MakerBot, and you can see that they all have this layered effect. They all have little, you can kind of feel it actually. You can see the layers on there. It builds it up layer by layer. A MakerBot can make almost anything, which kind of shifts the way you look at things. I mean, it has to be about this size, this size or smaller, because that's how big of things you can make with it. There's some design limitations, but basically, as soon as you get a MakerBot, you get like MakerBot goggles, and you start looking at things, and you're like, yeah, that cup, I could make one of those. I don't have to buy those anymore. That's a major shift in your mind when you think like, okay, instead of having to buy everything, I can just make it, you know? This is pretty awesome. There's a little slot here for like the handle of those cheap plastic bags. And it's like ergonomics, so when you carry the bag, if you have like something really heavy in a grocery bag, it's really comfortable to carry. And you can print one of these out that will fit your hand perfectly. So this is five pounds of plastic. It's ABS, it's the same material that Lego's made out of. It's really durable, it's really strong. This takes like six months to go through and costs like $65. I get excited because what potential does this hold? Right now it's like just raw feedstock. I'm sure it's like an artist looking at like a stone that they're going to carve and thinking what's going to come out of it. This is a medium that can be made into things and so there's a raw potential energy here. Do you have a schematic or anything that you would show like what you would use to actually make something? Sure, let's look at Thingiverse. We have this site called Thingiverse. People from around the world will d design things and then we have a site where people share those and so you can just download things. There's 4,000 things right now. You can just go on Thingiverse and download them and just print out. We have an interesting future ahead of us. The tools of manufacturing are coming into ordinary people's hands and they can just make things. Up until now, if you want something, you think about going shopping. Well, for some people right now that are living in the future, those days are over. This is a tripod mount. Isaac, who I work with, downloaded this last night and printed it out. This is the kind of thing that's actually really expensive to buy one of these. It's a replacement part and, you know, people lose them all the time. Now, instead of having to go buy it, you can just Print out a new one, put a little nut and bolt in there, and you're good to go. You have a replacement part. Because most things these days don't even sell replacement parts. Yeah, there's a guy who had an older, has a camera, and he wanted a lens hood for it. Turns out they don't exist, so he maker botted one in about an hour. Do you think that we're going to all become tinkerers? I don't think so. I don't think everybody has that inclination, although everybody could be a tinkerer. Everybody could make a maker bot, but it's kind of like, you know, everybody could make IKEA furniture, but not everybody does. What I'm excited about is putting tools in people's hands that let them be super creative. A MakerBot lets you make almost anything. I can't wait till more artists get a hold of it. And I can't wait till more mechanical engineers get a hold of it. And I want, you know, tinkering moms and dads to get a hold of it so that their kids can see that, oh, you know, instead of buying measuring cups, let's just print out some. And you know what, just for fun, let's make a 15th, 16th of a cup measuring cup because that's the perfect amount of flour for, you know, our cupcake mix. I love that world where we can just make things and customize things and share them and other people can you know, do the same thing and be inspired. These are all the parts to make another 3D printer. It's kind of cool. On your MakerBot, you can make another 3D printer. 
So it's a 3D printer made on a 3D printer. It's kind of meta. There's this thing that happens when you get a MakerBot. You start thinking about the things that you have around you. And we're used to shopping and we think, oh, I need something, I'll go shopping for it. And then the thing that you want has been transported from a foreign country on a ship, on a big boat, and then it gets transferred to a train, and then from a train to a big truck, and then from the truck to a store, and then from the store to you. And having a MakerBot shortcuts all that. The time from a thought to a thing is short. You can just manifest something. That's really a change in the way that you think when you get a MakerBot. You start thinking like, oh, can I make that instead of buy it? You know, I call it MakerBot goggles. You look at things and you're like, can I MakerBot that? Well, what do you have? So, Is that in it? Uh, 3D scanner. And you made that? Mm -hmm. It changes the way you think when you have a personal manufacturing machine on your desktop. Most people just use it for their own satisfaction of being able to just make anything they want or need. But, you know, we're also seeing people like mechanical engineers get it, you know, design companies. You know, then there's just ordinary people who want to who wanna live in the future and they're tired of waiting around. So you can get one of these things and be somebody who's from the future right now because, you know, it's still early days. It's still an exciting, you know, very few people know about it. One of the questions we get is like, well, can you do lost plastic casting and make metal things out of it? Nobody's tried it yet. So you can be that person to, to explore that world and brave that frontier. It's still really exciting days.